landing in this area. All right, we gotta get move on quickly because I'm starting to cool down right now. All right, so, all right we seem to be good. Let's go. All right, so now, as you know, I did go hole. Many different things that you can look at. We've got a fence here, and this fence, I think, symbolizes private property down there, right? So we're not allowed to go there, so we're gonna keep going this way. All right. Now, as you can tell, this tree is very, very old. Get, uh, get a nice shot of the, of the tree cameraman. As you can tell, it's incredibly old. It's been here for a while, uh, as long as you can remember. I remember being a kid here, you know, seeing this tree. Very big. Mind you, it's still growing. All right, so let's get moving. Now, if you look up there, you see that sign? That sign indicates human life, right? There's human life in this area. You know that this is probably a government-owned system, so we can buy that here. I'm not sure if it's private property. I don't, I don't think so. It's, you know, it's a suit. So we can keep going. Now, Another thing that symbolizes Echo Hall is it's very short plants. These plants have thorns on them, so make sure when you come here you be careful for these stones. And now as you can see, there's a lot of, there's a lot of you know dangerous material, you just gotta be careful. Let's gonna move camera around. Yeah, as I was talking about, these things are very, very annoying. And they can irritate your skin if you've got a sensitive skin, so you just gotta be careful. Be careful with the crew. Now we're gonna be walking down here. As you can tell, this is a very narrow pathway, all right? So you gotta be very careful, careful when walking down this pipe. Right? Now this stump also symbolizes the, the treacherous roots in this, in, this, in this ecosystem. Now as you can tell, there's a lot of trees that are going through here, you know, spindling everywhere, going everywhere they can. So this symbolizes the roots that are underground. Let's get a shot of that cameraman. Now as you can see, these are all the roots that go underground and for some lucky reason, we can see them right here. All right, so let's get, let's get. One of the great things that makes Echo Hall such a nice place to chill at is gonna be this stump, all right? This stump symbolizes a lot of things, all right? It symbolizes freedom of this area, all right? For the people that wanna come here and take the time off, it symbolizes a nice, good old bonding chair. Uh, it's nice if you just want to sit down, you know, have a laugh with your mates, you know, share a couple points, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a good point. Same right here. So we're gonna keep a move on. If you don't want to waste our time on tedious things, I want to show you the main attraction. Let's go. So now I'm gonna show you another another great part about this place. It's this couch. Now you may be thinking, all right, couch, I can sit on that, I can have a nice time with your mates, but no, this, as you can see, people have left markings here. Warning, not safe. So you want to be careful here. Don't ever sit down on this chair and God forbid don't ever touch it. Because <laughs> you don't know what's living in there. Right? Now you can see you can see a nice fluffy white so you make an assumption that's been here for not that long of a time. But actually I happen to know someone that actually brought this couch in on Valentine's Day last year. Right? So now let's get a move on. We're in the actual Echo Hall, the heart of the community right here, the heart of Glendale and Avondale. This is Echo Hall. The reason why Echo Hall is called Echo Hall is because of this. This metal ring. Which burns throughout all of Echo Hall. Give it a whip, alright? You guys stay right here. Listen. Let's get a shot of this So as you can see, it comes back, right? It's the beauty of the Echo Hall. Now, I think that has a deeper metaphorical meaning. Everything you say will come back and stab you in the back again. All right? What goes around comes around. All right, boys? Let's take a walk down here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of past indications of old human life. All right, we've got this plastic bag. And this plastic bag could be anybody, it could be anybody's. We've got these bottles, Sprite bottles, we've got cans, we've got beer bottles, you know? This is a nice place to party, you know? It's a nice place to just gather around with your mates, have a laugh, have a sit, enjoy a couple pints, and that's it, you know, you just get on. All right, now uh, we're gonna go into the last attraction, and that is actually gonna be the top part. All right, we're gonna climb this mountain, 
All right, once we get to the top, I'm gonna to be talking about our resting place and the top view. All right, let's get a go. As you can tell, we're at the top of the mountain. All right, let's get a view of this cameraman. Look at this beautiful view. All the landmarks at Echo Hall, right in front of your fingertips. All right, see so right there, the logs. You see over there is your, your, your couch. You can see over there, your famous center point log. And over there is the end, is the, is the exit of Echo Hall. So now, I'd like to bring you to the final part. That's gonna be our shelter tonight. Man who slept here woke up next morning without any legs and arms. So there's a lot of fairy tales attached to this very little tree. Right. Alright, so we're gonna be quiet. Hopefully we don't encounter anything strange. Alright, so let's keep going. Here's where it gets a little gnarly cameraman. It's a little creepy. Send a little shivers down your bones. Let's look over there. Keep on going. So right there is a pillow of someone who slept here. All right, there's a pillow and a blanket. Now this has a very deep methodical value to it. All right, one, you can see the state of this world and what it's come down to. All right, a human should not be subjected to living in here and sleeping on this. All right, so this is it. We're done. That. Here's your lesson about Echo Hall, the hidden gem of today's society. I suggest you visit it whenever you can with your mates and enjoy the beauty of the Echo 